guys, good morning. It is Monday, May 2nd, Brothers and Sisters Day. Yeah. I don't have that kind of relationship with my brother. It's not a bad one or anything, but it's just, yeah, different. But it's Monday. It's my day off, y'all. And I had a close call. Those girls were trying to keep me in bed and not do what I need to do. But because it was kind of overcast and really super foggy. It's a little after 10. My dishes are done. My laundry's going. I'm dressed. Got a couple of things I want to put away. I want to have about 20 minutes of quiet time. Maybe read a little something, get my day going. And I'm going to admission. They almost have me saying, you can do it on your way to work Wednesday. Okay, it's only in the opposite way. No. So we're going to do that. And I'm way ahead of schedule, so that's good. And then I want to go, I need to go to Home Depot, but I don't really like Home Depot. I should take my weed whacker, but I'm not doing that. So... I need to get, because you know, y'all, it's Mother's Day, which <clears throat> I'm going to work on it being a joyous occasion, because that's what my mother would want from me, for me, expect for me, you know? So what I'm going to do is, um, I want to get just a beautiful plant to set on my little table outside. I'll take y'all outside with me. I, I like to eat and sit out there, but Clara wants to be with me, and then I'm afraid for her, so I need to figure out something you know we have these things we're throwing away these poster thick kind of poster boards I wonder just a little something so she doesn't just go rambling down the stairs and you know life Oscar couldn't have really fit through anything but and maybe I'll do that if I didn't get them if they're not all thrown out but yeah that would be fun and then I want to get some bleach and a couple other things some big gloves that kind of thing and um try to do that on my house and so I think Sunday for Mother's Day, I'm going to get up and I'm going to go to a thrift store. Yeah, probably not the one. I, mean, I don't know if I'll go to the one that we always went to. Um, Joe, who runs a food bank, said, why don't you just go to a different thrift store? There's a lot of, you know, usually it's um, Goodwill. She's like, there are a lot of them around. A couple of really good ones she gave me, you know, little towns that aren't far from me. I thought that would be different. My mom would love that. So I was thinking I might do that. And a little yard work and just, you know, really have a quiet day and not feel like I need to accomplish anything. Uh, I'm not sure what food I want to make. Make something special. Maybe like crab cakes or something. My mom loved crab cakes. Something we didn't have that often. Or some, I don't know, there's a place not far from here. I could just pick up some like good shrimp. So I don't know, I'm going to think of give me something fun to think about this week. But we're going on the fifth year and... um you know, I, you know, having read all your comments and interacted with you guys and heard your stories and, um, yeah, it's just something you don't get over. If you're lucky enough to have had that relationship, you don't get over it, right? You don't. So what could I do that my mom would love? And I, because I do believe in afterlife and I do believe she's with me in spirit, like a hundred percent, like I had, y'all, let me tell you this. I have angel numbers for my mom and my dad. And yesterday I was really thinking about my roommate situation. I'm like, you guys, okay, is it time? Do I do it? Help me. And you know, now going to work um, is a road 270. And it, it's, you know, the morning, a time I'm going Sunday morning, people really aren't out there. And if you're driving the speed limit because you don't want a ticket or you're trying to save gas, it is a lonely drive because <laughs> everyone is flying by you. But my friend insists that gas lasts longer if you drive the speed limit. And it makes me anxious. So I'm using it as a practice to remain calm and focused. But all of a sudden, a car pulls in front of me, my dad's number. One minute later, another car pulls in front of me, my mother's number. And I got a calmness, a sense of kind of, okay, okay, you guys, okay. I hear you loud and clear. Like, what more do I want from you guys other than to just, like, appear in front of me? And that would probably freak me out. And I would think I was need to be locked up. So, well, actually, I wouldn't. I take that back. If you want to do that, I'm, I'm good with it. But, yeah, so I'm going to work on that. And then, you know, I think I'll do that on um, Sunday. Start filling out applications and stuff and doing all that kind of thing. Reading my books. Getting my everything ready. But today, so it is, I would love to go to Ulta. It's just going to depend depend on uh how I'm feeling at the time if 
I feel like I can really go in there and get what I want to get. My brother gave me a gift card for my birthday, which was very nice. Um, we'll see. And I would like to go to the Dollar Tree to get, I need funnel. Cause like when the end of my protein powder ends, I need to put in the other one as a mess. And I never really worried about it now, but it's like $75 a tub. I want every speck of my, why am I doing this y'all? Why, why, why? I noticed I'm like, <laughs> maybe I should have been a conductor. I don't know. Who knows guys? Uh, but yeah, so that's the deal. I'm going to make, I always, I love to go back. I don't always watch them before I post them because sometimes I'm self-conscious where I just think, what? But it's better to post them and then watch them. But uh, I was watching like this Friday. I was going to do this, this, and this and make, I laughed. I'm like, wow. I think the only thing I really did was make the brownies, which is telling. But today y'all is chicken legs day and broccoli. So, and I got to vacuum pack my chicken. And then I found a really interesting from um, Half Baked Harvest, her new cookbook which um, I'm going to get from the library because, you know, I have thousands of cookbooks and I don't need to keep them. That's the best place to get cookbooks, y'all. But it was like a, I can't even remember. It was a chicken breaded kind of thing. Anyway, I screenshot it from her Instagram. So I want to make, think about that this week. And yeah, I got my doctor's Thursday, but I've decided... I'm not going to overeat for the fact of doing that, but I'm going to do what I'm normally doing, even though I'm doing less of it right now, because I want to see truly what is going on with my blood and what is going on with everything instead of two weeks before trying to mask everything by, you know, drinking water. And it's crazy thinking, right? Like, who are you trying to fool? I mean, it's your body. It's your numbers. It's just you to get information to deal with or not deal with, whatever. But why try? I, I know so many people who, oh, I'm, I've got to do blood work in a week. I can't eat that. Or but call me on the day after my, my blood work. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to break that mentality that, you know, you have to lose weight to go to the doctor. And that was me my whole life until I really found a doctor that um, understood and you had to talk to me about that and said there's things we can cope with that will help your health but if you don't come because of your weight when your weight is heavier that's when you need to come see me that is when you need to come to the doctor isn't that a thought think about that y'all I had a doctor say to me when you are heavier and you put on weight don't not come to the doctor until you've lost that weight come then that's when you need me most wow wow crazy and she was of the vein of mine look yes you should lose weight yes da 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 you've tried your whole life I want to keep you healthy as I can keep you at this weight right and that's going to inquire that's medicine right but but we need to do blood work we need to keep up with your kidney we need to do everything we need to do to keep you as healthy at this weight as we can not that gee I'm going to help you get healthy when you lose the weight because think about that it's crazy just like eat less exercise more these things don't even make sense. They don't. Come to me at your heaviest. That's when I can help you. That's when I can make sure bad things aren't going to happen as a result of that. You know, eventually they will. But honestly, can you, can you imagine that? How lucky I was? How guided I was? She was a whole other story. She's like a whole hour video vlog. But I'm grateful to her. And um, it got me. She's the one that got me thinking about um, moving me out of the shame of my weight and my therapist to this is who I am right now, maybe forever, right? Do I not deserve good medical care? Do I not deserve cute clothes? And I sure as crap, I'm not going to take stuff from doctors who really don't know what they're talking about, don't really know me and come up with this nonsense. Like it's the first time I've heard eat healthy exercise. <sighs> really? wow, I'm 50 something. Thank God someone finally told me that. You know, like I said, my doctor has a partner who, um, this is during when my mom was dying. And I think it might've been right after that, that everyone insisted I go to the doctor and my blood work came back and she's like, well, you know, your numbers aren't bad. They're a middle high. Um, but you know, you really couldn't, I noticed you did lose some weight. So I, you know, you really need to lose more weight. You really need to eat more fruits and vegetables. You really need, I thought, I called my doctor. I might never have her call me again. I lost weight because my mother's 
dead. I suffered for months like a crazy person. Didn't even need water or food or sleep or anything. I was like a whirling dervish and I will die a year early because of it, but that's okay. But I was like, I, I don't, who, what? Shouldn't know me. Don't do, I, oh God. It's like, gee, your cancer numbers look better, but if you only eat better and like walk more, your cancer numbers will go down. I mean, that's ridiculous. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> and you guys, if you know me, like maybe even before I was 40, I, I wouldn't have said a word. I wouldn't have said to anyone about my weight. I would have been like, oh yeah, I'm overweight. I didn't eat in front of people except my good friends, but you know, I have a friend who I worked with and she would put on weight and I would never see her at work eat. And I, we'd have good food. I'm like, why don't you eat this? You're going home and you're, I said, it's so secret, you know, let it out, you know, just try, but she, she couldn't, she couldn't, but she's, she's, you know, she's also taught me a lot of, I could hear her thinking and then recognize it in myself and think, whoa, wait a minute. What do I need to change a lot? But I appreciate you guys who think I am fine the way I am. I appreciate it. And I'm feeling that more and more. Doesn't mean my hips aren't hurting a little bit. That I, you know, that was, it's really not about looking cute in jeans anymore, though. You know, it's really about feeling good in my body, and my bones and my skin when I, when I get up from sitting down. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so yeah, I am this week. You know, things haven't changed. I had a really tough experience with Angela and she's going to have really bad days. And yeah, I, I, I don't think I, I don't know if I can find my equilibrium. I want to, I pray for that. I ask for that. I'm journaling about it, but I'm in for the long haul. I'm not going anywhere. So I hope not, but yeah, so it's just going to be part of it. I'm going to try not to dwell on it. And then when I need to talk about it to you guys and cry, I'll do that too. But there's so much joy, and I just think about my mom that Mother's Day, like, she, I'm going to cry. She would want me to feel joy. That's what she wants. She would not want me to suffer. She'd be like, girl, what is happening? Don't suffer. Of course you miss me. I miss you, but I'm with you constantly now. Stop it. Stop it. I can hear my mother right now. Stop it, Trace. Stop it. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to, um, that's. This is a lofty goal, y'all. That is a far reaching, but that's what I'm going to do. And yeah, so my day to day, it should be interesting. I'll try to take you if I remember in the Home Depot. I get very overwhelmed. I think because it's cavernous, like Sam's Club. Now, I have never been to Sam's Club, but like Costco and it's just cavern. I think Aldi a little bit too. It's just like cavernous to me. Where Trader Joe's is just like cozy. So yeah, so we'll see. And maybe I'll show you guys like... Um, you know, I could even over shop and spend at the Home Depot. You know, it's really not about the thing, is it? It's about the act. So, yeah. So, well, maybe in the car I'll talk to you guys what I'm looking for. And, um, and flowers, you know, for my mom. And I think I'll go to Trader Joe's this week and get a bouquet for the kitchen. And she probably just loved me to have a super duper clean kitchen <laughs> to be truthful. So that's what I'm doing, y'all. You take care, and um, I'm gonna check in you with you today. I hope your Monday's off to a good start. Uh, my lower back, you guys, ooh, it's tight. But then I work really hard and I don't stretch, so it's a shocker, right? I gotta really incorporate stretching. Y'all stretch, my friend stretch. She said she had to. She hurt something and she just has to get on the floor and stretch before she does her day or She's in pain. So these are new thoughts for me that, you know, I really do a little yoga. I have a really cool yoga DVD checked out from the library about um, plus size yoga and I own one. So that's, you guys, all I know to tell you, I'm thinking about dropping my cable TV. Now I need internet and I need security, but I am thinking about taking a year off. It is so bloody expensive. And yeah, I mean, it's all, yeah, there's things I really want to see. But a lot of times it's like when you go thrifting, you buy the best thing of the day, not necessarily what you want. So I take things like, eh, I really want to do this, you guys. I want to go one year. I have a DVD player. I have apps on my phone. Uh, so I don't see Barnaby every night. I want to switch that too. I don't need to go and sleep with, you know, Midsummer Murders every night. Yeah. And I kind of 
before my mother died, she was downstairs watching, you know, TV I didn't like. So I didn't watch that much TV. I didn't have a TV in my room. I will say when I got my iPad, you know, you have access. But that's what I'm thinking about. I'm kind of nervous. Why am I nervous? Going to save all that money? But um, we'll see. They might come back with, well, we'll go ahead since you've been with us forever. Give you half of, you know, I don't know. We're going to see. But I think that's what I want to do. And then if my roommate comes and really wants cable TV, we can revisit it. You know, but a lot of people watch on their computer, watch on their iPad. It's, you know, I actually have in my bedroom, which used to be my mom's room, a big TV that she loved. So, and I don't know why I can't quite get rid of it because I literally have not watched a TV on it. I have not, um, hooked, I took cable out right away from there, save money. But yeah, I, I just, um, Let's see, maybe my nephew wants it. Again, it's this idea on this book I'm listening to, Clutter Busting, for the second time. He's like, you're hanging on to things just in case. And he goes, you know, just think five years I haven't used it. Where's the just in case, right? And will I ever need a huge screen TV in my bedroom? No. And actually, there's this dresser there that I could live without. And what I'm thinking is, I just never want to let you guys go, ever. I never want to stop talking. My friend Mahali is so thrilled that I have more people to talk to. But I want to get nice stands. And they don't have to necessarily match. This is where I'm going to start thrifting. I'm not getting something that uh, I have to do everything to because that's not going to happen. I'm going to try to find on my phone this idea I have in my head. But um, I would have to move my bed. And then uh, the kind of lamp I have is one of those alt lights, which is old, which could be replaced. But I always need a really good reading lamp in my room. But these are two things I'm thinking about. I like my um, picture behind my bed, so it's like a frame for me. So I don't need a bed frame. I don't like a bed thingy. But I had a canopy when I was growing up. But yeah, so those are two thoughts. So the TV is one thing. I'll talk to my nephews if he wants it. Um, if not, maybe donate it to the food bank, right? I think, well, what if your big TV goes out? Okay. I don't, I'm not going to be watching a lot of it. It shouldn't go out, but yeah, then I'll have to think about living without TV. I don't know. I, I just was always that person and somehow it became like a comfort to me and replaced, you know, it's talking at you. You feel like you're not alone when TV's on, but you are alone. It's weird. I, I feel totally connected when I'm talking to you guys. And even when I'm watching YouTube, YouTube, I, I'm curious. I guess I could get YouTube. I don't know. I'll think it out. But, you know, let it go and then figure out the rest. What it really is important to me to, to figure out how to do. But so, yeah, those are coming up. Yeah. I feel like that was guided by probably my father more to save that money. <laughs> yeah, so that's it, y'all. Check on me and see if I've done it. Like, I'm going to work on it this week. Well, I don't know. I got a lot going on this week. But what's today? So I want to have it done by June. That's good. Yeah, I'll be done by June. That's realistic. And what's even more realistic is if, excuse me. Oh, tight in the back, tight in the back. Um, I write it down. You know, it's all about writing stuff down. So, cable. There you go. Now, let me show you my other notes. So vacuum pack, make chicken leg, start roommate quest, pay bill. That I have a speeding ticket. One of the speed traps on the way from Trader Joe's. But anyway, <clears throat> so these are things. Shrink wrap. That's my chicken in the fridge. So, okay, guys, I'm off to have my quiet time, start my day officially out of the house, and I'm going to check in with you guys maybe at the Home Depot. Guys, I am outside the Lowe's and um, I need some bungee cord and I need, uh, what do I, what am I coming, bleach, gloves, and a spray bottle. And then I, uh, I want some sunflower seeds for my birds to plant me sunflowers. And I need this bungee cord for this thing I have outside that broke. And I'm going to get one some couple of flowers from my deck 
So, um, I'll see. Maybe I'll do some filming. And, uh, fingers crossed. Okay, guys. So, I don't know what to get. I'm going to get some cilantro. There's so many things. It's so overwhelming. I got this thing. It's just pretty in that little cilantro thing. So, I don't know anything about anything. I think that's what I'll stick with and not go crazy and see if I can grow some cilantro and maybe read eggplant. Okay. I think I'm going to get lemon balm. I don't know why, but... And then it's right out here. I think I'm going to get some catnip for Clara. Okay, guys, so... All this just completely overwhelms me. I need an empty bottle and um, some heavy duty gloves. It's just, it just plays, it makes me anxious. So I guess there's scrubbing things. I probably have an empty bottle at home I can use. And here are the gloves. And then next I'm gonna go hunting for this. I decided to get this multi-purpose safe outdoor cleaner instead of bleach. So we'll see and I got Mr. Clean extra durable. So we'll see how all this goes. Hey guys, so I'm back in my car. I just did a little bit. I do I get so overwhelmed. I got a couple little like a cilantro thing, lemon balm and catnip if Clara wants some catnip and I got a big beautiful already planted things of $30 that's the kind of thing Angela and Beverly would buy me so it's kind of sad but just yeah but I'm gonna have to read and learn and you know Beverly won't I don't know if I could get her out here to help pick me some stuff she'll be horrified at Lowe's and not some specialty shop but yeah, and I got a different kind of cleaner than bleach. So we'll see how that goes. I didn't buy mulch. I was going to get mulch, but I think I want to do what I was said I was going to do. Like I need to trim my things, get rid of those other things, and then I'll come get mulch. But not until after Mother's Day. This place is hopping and it's Monday at 1230. So now I am craving fast food because I've sort of trained myself. I also, um, I also want to get, I need a new, um, what do you call it? Like a day planner things. So, but Walmart's usually got the best selection and prices. There's a Staples, but you know that, y'all, that's expensive. So, yeah. I do have, now that I'm all organized here, I have a gift certificate. I have one to Starbucks and uh, IHOP and Subway. So I might go and get a Subway sandwich. Yeah. And then go from there. And go home and do, you know, live for another day. But yeah, I'll check in with you guys when I'm doing a little gardening. So I thought I might vlog a little bit on my way back towards my house, but that, this, I actually got anxious. It's just, and I asked, I needed this bungee cord, right? For my, I have this long, like kind of chair laying and it t tilts back and it broke. But I think I saw, I came across uh, zip ties. So I was thinking I might try that. I think, if there's enough space, if not, I have to return it, which I will. But that place is just so flippin' overwhelming. And um, I did ask one young guy where bungee cords are, and he was barely communicative. So um, that's unusual. Usually they're pretty um, helpful. But this is this right and by this fish place that has really good seafood, fays or maize or something. Anyway. I was thinking about, for Mother's Day, getting uh, like a pound of shrimp. Uh, I wonder what crabs are like. Seems early for crabs. I could get like, I don't know what six crabs would cost. That, my mother would love that. So that's a thought. 
Or I have an IHOP gift card. I could go pick up breakfast and bring it home. I have an Olive Garden gift card. I could do that. She would love that. Free. So, yeah. So, I've got the week to sort of think about um, what I want to do on Mother's Day. I'm in the wrong. Okay. So, yeah. So, now the plan is this is where I fall down when I get home. <laughs> I don't want to do anything. So I've got to bring my plant up for sure. And what I'd like to do, I have a couple of things that have old plants in it. I want to get rid of those. And then I want to do a little bit on my, um, it's gotten warmer, so I need to put on some lighter clothes for sure. Then I want to <coughs> clean out a couple of the ones that I can, I have dirt to put in and start with my um, little cilantro and lemon balm and catnip. <coughs> so I guess I'll have to look up Beverly will know she knows everything about plants but um, so I gotta plant those and could I probably do the catnip and the lemon balm in the same one cilantro um, god they had so many things I just don't know if I'm capable of growing a sweet pepper but I just love the idea of that but I love cilantro so much so I'm going to try that. And I know if you take onions, like green onions, and do something with them, they'll grow. I'm going to try that. I, got, I have a book on this, y'all, of course. So I really want Roy Rogers and Panera. And I'm trying to think. It's all the things my mom would want Chick-fil-A. So we would go Lowe's, run errands, and we'd get something to eat and bring it home. Sometimes, you know, obviously she died before the pandemic. But um, sometimes we'd eat there. But she would like to go home and eat normally. But everyone must be off because everywhere is kind of packed and it's Monday afternoon. I do want to go to Old Navy and um, not today, but and see if I can find a couple pair of more summer lightweight pants that fit. But also, um, yeah, so maybe Sunday I'll go to Goodwill and then... Um, order IHOP or Olive Garden depending on what time I get going and I want to try Goodwill first to see if I can find some jeans I might not find like lightweight summer capri thingies but if I could find a couple pair of jeans that would be awesome I'm getting ready to like go three more pairs of my pants I have two more to try on <coughs> and then I'll have gone through all my pants and I have them like a little tight perfect and a little big We turn up my it's a beautiful day though in the neighborhood here we turn on my air because it's that kind of day i'm not i don't want to turn on my only 67 i'll be fine in my house but you know in the car it's super gets super hot because i have black but you know this is gonna cost gas money Let's see if i can get it going so i decided that i would go by subway and get a sandwich with my, my, coup, my gift card and I have my friend made that good feta tomato pasta so I can have that with it and um, yeah and then I can have a little bit of lunch before I feel like I have to start with the gardening thing but I am going to bring everything out of my car and bring it where it should be which is Herculean for me and yeah, a lot. I've got one load of laundry, two loads I'm doing, so I want to finish that. This is riveting. Oh, a bird almost hit my windshield. But I got my my emissions done, and I feel good about that. I actually had to the 11th. I thought I had to the 18th. But anyway, it's done. Why put things off like that when you know you have to do them, and it will cost you more money and late fees if you don't do it? Let's see what else is going on here. I don't need groceries. I'll go to Tr Trader Joe's this week because I got charged twice for something that I was returning. And I want some clamatos and I might pick out a dessert for Mother's Day. <coughs> I still have a trust leche cake in the freezer. I have a lava, like one of those lava things in the freezer. So I have enough desserts to choose from that I and I have one of these apple kind of things from Trader Joe's that I really don't 
I even have an ice cream at Angela's Cottage refrigerator. I have a Briar, so I felt like I need a little vanilla ice cream. I already have that. So really, y'all, there's no reason to spend money other than just sheer joy. Yeah. So I want to go to Ulta and I want to go to Dollar Tree, but I just didn't feel like today's the day. I need to be mentally prepared for Ulta. And there's a few things I need from the Dollar Tree, but I want to go through my list again and be prepared. I really haven't been watching Dollar Tree all, so I don't know what is new and exciting. So I'm not on the hunt for anything. But uh, yeah, there's just a couple of things I want. And there is one on my sort of my way to work in the same direction, but I could do that and give myself a half hour to run in and get what I want and not mosey around. That might be a good idea. But yeah, I can imagine a lot of you garden and are good at that kind of thing. I guess you learn, right? My friend Bev has loved it her whole life and so did Angela, but you know, I want things to look nice. So that's motivation. And my weed whacker's not working. I don't know how I would ever bring it. I guess, I, I don't know. I've got to try to get it out and look at it with the YouTube video and see what I can figure out on my own before I drag it to um, Home Depot or Lowe's. But I also have a hand lawnmower, so I could use that too in a pinch till I get that thing done. Because I'm just going to weed, it's just going to mow the weeds away. The ones that I'll show you, the ones like are in like the flower bed or the tree bed or anything like that, I will, um, I will weed. But the rest are just going to be, because you can. You have to go way down and I, it's, my friend explained to me, you have to have a special tool and it's very hard to get the root. <clears throat> so, a couple years down the line, who knows? I'll have the funds and the time to resod. What else? Let's see. I think that's it. And the mulch. So I will. I don't think next weekend I'll mulch because this weekend because it's Mother's Day. But um, and my work schedule is going to change a little bit because we're gonna we're gonna work Monday through Friday. So I don't know. I mean, I could even do that on the way to work to go grab like four things of mulch. I think I'll start with. I know it's not super expensive, but I don't want to get it and have it sitting there and then not do it. I'm trying to learn that, but it's okay. I can run in, you know, the Lowe's or the Home Depot again. Coming to a roundabout. So yeah, so that's what's happening. I kept myself calm in Home Depot. I did not really buy anything I did not need. I did get a little cute heart scrub brush, but you know, come on. But it looks like it's good quality. So it can be scrubbing my house. I have so much to do, you guys. I don't have time for TV. I started talking about how I'm going to cancel my cable TV because I just don't want to spend time watching TV. And if I'm home relaxing, I'd rather read, spend time with books, or do some art, or, you know, think about my YouTube channel, or take a class to help me do things. So that, you know, I'm, I don't know why I'm nervous about it, but I'm nervous about saving a bunch of money. But, um, and I can always get it back if I feel like I'm missing it, but I don't think I will. I now the Tour de France, I don't know, maybe this year I can just catch a little bit here and there and not be obsessed with the tour because there's no Mimi to talk to you about it and the other person I used to talk to you about it. I don't really hate, know them anymore. That's a long story, but I could just do snippets and stuff. Or there's probably an app I could put it on my eye. I don't know. Why worry about July, right? I don't even know if it's, I assume it's going to start. Hey guys, I don't know if you're wearing masks or not. I am because I don't want, I don't want the flu. I don't want anything. Stomach flu is going around for a while. I was like, no, thank you. But um, nobody was wearing a mask at Home Depot. I think there was me and another lady, <coughs> another old woman. We were wearing them. This is going to be so crooked, you guys, because honestly, why do I keep saying honestly? But this thing is annoying. But yeah, but I, you know, I'm just going to wear it. I don't want anything. And I got, you know, dear God, do you not want to go into Angela's house having COVID and not knowing it and killing her. That is just literally not an option. 
So I'm pulling up to Safeway, not Safeway, Subway, and get myself a sandwich. And I'll check in with you guys when I'm home. Yeah. So I got, I just got the sandwich, no chips. I was really wanting a cookie. I'm like, you can make your own cookies. That's the deal. You can have a cookie, you make your own cookies. But they have a new, I always get steak and cheese. My mom always got the Italian. But they have a Baja one, and I thought, mm, you know, maybe I'll stick with the steak and cheese. So I was talking to the lady next to me because that's how my mother trained me to be in public places. And she got a steak and cheese. I said, have you tried the Baja steak yet? And she said, no. She's, I said, yeah. And she goes, yeah. I, always, I like the safe choice. God. I can't even do a, like, out there choice in the subway. It just made me think. Safe choices. Wow. Isn't it interesting how somebody says something to you and it's like a different perspective, the safe choice. So yeah, I think I'm beyond, I don't even want to have to make a choice that is safe or, or you know, who knows where this, it's not, is it safe? It's not safe and unsafe. It's safe and maybe you don't know the outcome, right? <laughs> but I'm, I did not get my chips, it's new. I have that good pasta and I'm gonna make a little fruit salad and after I'm out in the sun, I can have a little bit of um, Sprite or Dr. Pepper if I want because that seems appropriate. There's something about when you've been out, if you have water that just hit a uh, soda, like a drug addict. But so I'm gonna think about safe, all the safe choices, which I think is instinctual anyway, right? But I, yeah, I'm not a risk taker. But maybe I have to reevaluate that concept that it's not about like jumping off a bridge, you're a risk taker, that may be getting a roommate or, you know, getting on a dating app or those kind of risks that uh, are still, anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just floating around. That's what I'm doing. Guys, so I got this. I need to find a bottle for it. Um, it's bleach free, so I'd rather try that first. And look at this cute um, heart scrub. <laughs> anyway, it feels like really good. So I got that. These are the zip ties I got. How cute are they? It's hard to see in the light, but this is the chair here. I need to scrub this down too. Whoops, oh my god, all I need to do is break my deck. So here's what I did. The plastic, well, the elastic had rotted because I left it outside. So we'll see if the other side's still good or not. But this is an expensive chair and I don't want to replace it. So we'll see how this goes. So, so far so good. I thought I would leave a little bit, but we'll see if the other side is going to break. But this is the view. Right here. You can come out here and read and relax. Now the kids are home from school, so that won't be it. But yeah. Now on to getting all the yucky stuff out of my plants. My plant um, boxes, thingies.